Hello there guys, welcome back to Excel 2010 User Interface Continued. On the previous video we'd just been talking about how many rows and how many columns Excel had. Remembering it was 1,048,576 columns, it was 16,384 rows and there is your total of cells. You've got 17,179,869,184 cells. That's absolutely colossal. And every cell, as I was saying previously, every cell is independent. And what I mean by that is you can have one cell formatted as a date and you could you could have literally a date in there. You could have another just as the normal number, 10. And then you could also have one as like £10 by formatting the number currency. You can have all different formats on completely different cells. And that's why you have to understand they're all completely independent, these cells. But each cell is unique in the sense that it's got a cell address. Now the cell address would appear up here in the name box and it's very important that you understand that every single cell on this week worksheet is a standalone cell. Then they make up the columns, then they make up the rows, then they make up the sheets and then from each sheet you get the workbook and that's why on every single cell in every single sheet in every single workbook is completely standalone so I could have 200 sheets in this workbook and it would still make every cell unique in itself because you would go the cell by column and name the sheet name the workbook and then I can link that to another workbook so it's endless trust me it is endless where you can go with these workbooks but the sheets are absolutely colossal. Then you come over here and you've got the scroll bars. Now this is so you can scroll up and down the document. Notice over here 2021, 20, 22 and so on and so forth. So that's so you can scroll up and down and this is so you can scroll right and left. Um, it's pretty straightforward stuff but you still do need to know that you can scroll up and down. Now, once you've got them in place, you come across here. Now, just to the left of this scroll bar, you've got a little nodule here. That can extend the length of this scroll bar. And a lot of people don't like to see a lot of worksheets when they've got a lot of worksheets in the workbook. They don't, so that they lie them, just so you can see one worksheet, like so. And it's just knowing that you can, or if you put it on accidental, you know that you can reduce the length. Now these are what you call your sheet navigators and this little button here will show you the first sheet, this one will show you the previous, this will show you the next. Now notice I'm on sheet 1, I go next, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4. Well that's a new sheet but it would be sheet 4. Now this one will show you the first sheet again, this one will show you the last sheet. So it's literally so you can navigate around. But you can also right click and then you'll get a list of all the sheets within the workbook. And then you just select the sheet that you want and it'll go straight to the sheet that you want. Uh, some sheets in some workhouses that I've been in, in places that I've been working in, they've got 200 sheets. But they're not using the sheets to the full potential because the sheets are so big, they don't use them, they only use each sheet little but it, it's down to choice basically and how you work but if you've got a lot of worksheets that's how you would navigate through the worksheets then you've got your status bar down here now your status bar this area is at the bottom this is really good because there's certain things on there that it'll tell you the position of Excel now watch this in here if I put my cap locks on you can't see it but if I right click on here and customise it, come down here to cap locks and turn it on. Now when I turn it on, there's your cap locks on, 
cap locks off. I like that because I'm forever typing uppercase when I should be typing lowercase, or I start with a low, low capital and then end up with all capitals. Wrong, you know, wrong type of cap locks. So that to me is really important to have on. But you can turn all sorts on and off. Notice along here we've got the document views. I'll show you that in a second. But you can put them down here. Look view shortcuts you've got your zoom and your zoom slider now there your view shortcuts that's your zoom percentage and that's your zoom slider I can turn them off and there you go look they've gone so now they're not gone because I'm customizing my status bar this is absolutely fantastic very very well worth well worth having a look uh, and having a little looking so that's your status bar these are your document views now this is just your normal view how you would work in Excel this one's your page layout now page layout gives you access to your headers and your footers so you know you can go to your headers and your footers and it will show you what it's gonna print like when it goes to print this one's your page break preview so what this will do this will show you where your pre where your page breaks are showing that's on page one that's on page two I haven't got much data in here guys so it doesn't you know but you can move these page breaks as well and you can work these so you know exactly where it is and you can customize the sheet so it goes to print on one page but there are your views that you've got within Excel then you've got uh, this which is your zoom percentage notice that I'm on a hundred percent but I can scroll it down and now I'm on 55% or I can scroll it up and now I'm on 340 maximums 400% and I can zoom down to 10% I believe yeah 10% I never want to look at it at 10% but sometimes I do want to look at it you know in the hole to see how it's going to go to print and things like that so the status bar is really quietly important then you've got this little fella here now the, on the very corner this is so I can adjust the size of the window so I could have more than one window tiled up on my screen purely for vi video purposes and me doing this video guys I'm just gonna put that back where it belongs basically then you come up here and you've got this little module here look can you see it it's just above the vertical scroll bar now this is what you call your split screen and you just drag that down here and you notice here now notice in the top window I'm looking at rows 1 to 12 in the bottom window I'm looking at 13 and now watch this I just bring that down now so now what I'm doing in this window up here I'm looking at the top of the worksheet and in this one I'm looking at the bottom of the worksheet now this is fantastic when I'm working and I want to read data from here and I want to input data in here so I can literally position so I can see it and then I can literally type it in here absolutely fantastic I can also split vertically as well now notice here it's on the right hand side of the little vertical scroll bar and I bring that over now on here notice I'm in column A to H and on here I am now in XFB, XFC and XFD so I'm at the other end of the worksheet and again I could be looking at data here I could be reading stuff here and inputting them here or reading them here and inputting them there it doesn't really matter where I input them but it, it does work it works really well now to remove you can adjust the splits as well just by picking it up and dragging it so you don't have to you know you, you don't have to worry about the positions of to remove a split you just click on the on the put your mouse on the split double click and it just disappears and that just gets rid of the splits as well really really good stuff um, that's in there that's in there that's in there and that's your main interface now what I will be doing with you in my next video I will be explaining all the um, the mouse pointers but before I do I just want to show you something on this actual status bar because I forgot about this but I do want to show you it what you can do you can highlight a block of numbers now all I'm doing here guys I'm just chucking some numbers in because I just need some numbers in here now I can highlight the numbers like so and notice down in the status bar 
over here without me doing anything notice it's telling me the average of that block of numbers it's counting how many numbers I've got and it's also summing them up for me now these are this is purely this is purely guys this is purely for visual purposes only it doesn't do anything else other than tell me what's what but if I'm in a meeting and I haven't got a calculation that you've asked me you might I might not have an average up and then it'll say well what's the average of them sales you would just literally highlight the sales that he's referring to or they're referring to and then you look down here for average if you right click on that notice count average yeah numer numerical count it'll just count many sums absolutely fantastic it will give you an answer and and a lot of people don't appreciate it but there's times when this this has got me out of trouble like you wouldn't believe well worth a look at yeah have a little play with it and get used to it because it is good but it is good sometimes when you just want an answer but you don't want to put it in the worksheet that's it for now guys regards the excel's environment what I will say to you is uh, you need to go over and check me other videos out now the next video that I'm going to be doing is all the different mouse pointers that you get uh, because you get a lot of different mouse pointers in Excel and you need to know what they are and what they refer to um, so that's my very next video but thank you very much for watching thank you for I hope you found it informative if you need any help nip over subscribe to my channel and we'll take requests from you so if you subscribe with us you can ask us how to do a particular thing and we'll try and do a video for you and help you out uh, go over and check me other videos out I've got other applications also so you can have a look at them thank you very much for your time I hope you've enjoyed it bye